hi everyone you welcome back to my channel and in today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you all how to fix a zipper fly or flyer to your pants or your trouser so zipper flyer is usually fixed on the crotch area just exactly on the front part of your trouser or your pants so that is what i'm going to be sharing with you all right here so i'll flip this to the back so you all see what it looks like at the back you can see how properly the zipper is covered so i'll just get started with today's tutorial so of course before fixing your zipper fly you must have already drafted out your pants or your trouser just as you can see right here and after drafting is always four pieces after cutting out after drafting and cutting out on your fabric as well okay so we have our front piece and our back piece so in case you don't know how to draft your trouser pattern i have a series of tutorial on how to go about that so just check up on the channel for um the perfect tutorial on how to draft your trouser palazzo stretch cord and also your boot cord so right here now i separated these two front piece i have right here and if this part that is facing the camera is actually the right side of my fabric okay and this curve part i have is my crotch area so now i'm going to place these two pieces together on the crotch area right sides facing each other as you can see right here okay so that part is my crotch area that is the part where you're going to face on each other then i'll use my um, office pin and pin these two pieces together exactly on that crotch area okay So right now, after pinning, this is what I have. I made sure that everything aligned as I pinned. So from that pointy part on that my crouch, I'm just going to go by two inches, okay? So you see how I place my tape? I'm just going to make a mark two inches using my chalk. And I'm just going to also mark half of an inch inward like this from that two inches all the way and stop exactly beneath just at that point on my crouch, okay? So I'm going to join now from that two inches i'll have to stitch up to that point so on that part where i marked my two inches i'm going to back stitch i'm going to double stitch on that point okay so i'll take this over to my sewing machine right here as you can see so i'm going to back stitch and also double stitch on exactly that two inches point which is that part where this chalk is more pronounced all right so you can see what i'm doing right here so after stitching that i'm making sure that um the stitches i have right there is very tight enough i'm now going to turn this over to this other side this way and i'm going to stitch on that half of an inch all the way to the end or the other side of my crotch okay So after that now, I'm simply going to move back to my sewing table and I'm going to make a notch right here. So you can see at that point where I have that my two inches um, back stitch and double stitch, I notched exactly on top. I didn't really cut a lot. It was just about um, um, half of an inch, all right? So just make these tiny cuts right there, okay? So when you now do this you're going to realize that these two pieces can actually separate on its own very well all right so i'm going to get another piece and this piece i have right here i'll just have to measure first from my waist at that top part all the way to this notch i had then one inch additional all right so all together what i had there was seven and a half inches from my waist to the notch i had was six and a half inches plus one inch making it seven and a half inches so the length of this piece i want to cut out now is going to be seven and a half inches and for the width or the wideness i'll mark at least two inches so just cut out one and a half to two inches shouldn't be more than that okay because you don't want this too wide all right so two inches was what i marked here actually so i connected all these points and i'm just going to cut them out after the connection So this is it right here. So you go ahead and weave all around. So this is actually um, 
a piece that i'm working with it's not going to be one so that is actually the reason i didn't weave if it was for a client or for me i would have weaved it at this point if i proceed with any other thing okay so now i brought this my trouser piece and i'm just going to keep one part of it aside so i'm working now on the left part of this my trouser panel so it's on my left at this point okay so now this piece i have i'm just going to place it right side on that crouch area as you can see right there i'm going to place it at that point and i'm going to pin so this pin i'll pin this and get up to the part where i notched okay so right side facing this my crotch area i pin these two together and now i'm going to run a stitch and stop exactly on that cut or on that notch right there i hope this is very clear enough for you to understand what i mean so that's the part where i'm going to stop right there okay from the top part which is the waist all the way to that notch or the cut i had i am going to work stitch So guys i'm gonna head now to do this and you can see what i have right here so the purpose of adding one inch extra to your piece is for it to be at least um longer than the um notch which you have on your trouser okay so the next thing is to get this remaining piece i have which i've stitched now i'm going to flip it to this piece okay this is my flyer and i'm going to top stitch on top of this piece okay not on top of my trouser so this is what i mean at this point so i've gone ahead now to stitch that on this other piece i'm working with so i flipped it to the front part and you can see what it looks like okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is actually fix my zipper to this please ignore the fact that i'm using a non-matching colored zip for this particular piece this is just me showing you how to do this like i said ella is not going to be worn okay so you're going to flip your zip now like this can see you flip your zip to the back to the to the front making sure that the front part of your zip that is the part where you have your zipper okay you are going to have it flipped but before then i will just have to mark at least about half of an inch for me to place my zipper okay and as you are placing your zipper you're going to make sure that the front part is facing the front or the right side of your fabric just this way and also as you are placing your zip you're going to ensure that the ends of your zip is at least half inch higher okay it's not exactly the same length with your fly okay so i went ahead now to pin and i'm going to run a stitch all the way and stop right there at that point so i have done this and this is what i have as you can see right here i went ahead to open this up and this is what i have so i'm going to get the other part of my crotch now okay so i'm going to pin it with this my zip okay that remaining part that other side as you can see i'll go ahead now and pin it to this my zipper just this way so all these things i'm pinning right here is for me to be able to have all this in place so it doesn't move or shift while i go to see on my sewing machine okay so after pinning i'm simply going to stitch from the upper part of this my trouser which is the waistline all the way and stop exactly on the notch or the cut which i have on this my crotch most people actually refer to their crotch as their flap is also the same thing okay so it all depends on your choice of weights all right so from that top part you see i stitch up to that my crotch part but please please don't stitch on your trouser just on that part alone that is the part i'm meant to stitch so guys after doing this now I flip this to the front you can see that we already have this other side covering the zipper area properly right so i cut out another piece which is um seven and a half inches long and two inches wide because i'm going to be using it now to cover up this zip to have a neat finishing so please go ahead as well to also weave all around this piece which will be which i'll be stitching on this my zipper okay so i placed it to this other side the, the this last part which i stitched so i'm going to place it right there and i'm also going to pin and now following the lines or the thread lines which i already stitched i'm i'll follow that part and now stitch this piece to my zipper okay so the same method or the same way which i stitched this my crouch area to my zipper that's how i'm going to also stitch just following that thread okay 
so right now i've gone ahead to do that i'll flip this to the back and you can see how properly covered this looks and this is actually coming out so fine so you see this is how to actually know you got it to have your zipper in between this piece and your trouser all right so now the next thing i'm going to do now is actually to do the final stitch which is at the right side but before that i'll have to move this um other piece one side so i'm going to pin it because i wouldn't want to make mistakes while i'm stitching at the front side okay so i now you see i used i uncovered it okay before it was covering my zipper but i had to shift it or move it to the other side to review the zipper so now i now flipped this my trouser piece to the right side so automatically automatically it's going to your flyer is going to cover your zipper okay so i'm going to hold this in place using my pin all right for the sake of this tutorial so that it doesn't move or shift okay so after that now i'm going to run a stitch so watch carefully what i'm going to do right here from that part i'm going to run a stitch all the way all the way and stop exactly on this point where i have my where i have my zipper stopped so that is also where the notch stopped as well so it's going to be like in a curvy or curved manner all right so i'm going to stop exactly at that point where you see my hand pointing okay so i'm just going to fix this now my sewing machine so if you're actually wondering how many inches you would like to stitch from there you can use about three quarter to one inch okay but the stitch should be like on the zipper okay so i'm going to stitch now from that point straight and when i'm getting to that other end of my zipper i'm going to curve this all right so this is to achieve a better and neat finishing on your zipper okay and like i said ignore the non matching color trade and zipper this this trouser will not be worn it's just for this um tutorial okay so that is just basically it so when you get to that point you have to double stitch and back stitch as well okay so this is it as you can see right here what i have right now and when i turn this to the back part i realized that even the other piece which i pinned had to interrupt or come to this other side which i had to use my razor blade to lose so that is why i advise you to pin this you can imagine if i didn't pin it i will have it covering this my zipper and if you have it covering your zipper it can't actually open while you are trying to unzip your trouser okay so that is just that now and this is what i have after stitching and right here now i went ahead now to remove my pins okay so that this can be free so that i can open this my zipper so you see exactly what i have right now okay so this is just basically it we are done fixing our zipper flyer or zipper fly is actually quite easy and simple so you now have to iron this generously iron this very well okay so after that now i'm just simply going to join the front the back part of this um trouser to the front so this is actually a small size trouser um that i just cut out okay so this is the back your zipper flyer should be covering the zipper the front and the back as well okay so i've joined the front and the back together and this is what i have so that is just simply how to do that you now go ahead and fix your band and that is all thank you all so much for watching if you found this story helpful please i urge you to subscribe to my channel don't forget to also like this video see you next time on the same channel bye